Shalom, shalom. This is Elder Isaac Hill of Restores the Truth Ministries, uh, sharing with you another scripture nugget. Today's scripture nugget will be uh, the beginning of, seri of a series of uh, nuggets dealing uh, with set-apartness. Uh, set-apartness was kind of touched on on a previous uh, teaching regarding the difference between holy and set-apart or set-apartness, uh, H-O-L-Y, uh, and set of partners. However, we're going to get a little deeper into what does it mean to be set apart and the word set apartness itself. Uh, from the Hebrew standpoint, uh, that word would be Kodesh. Uh, and so we're going to look in, into that and we're going to go a little further. And as we get into this, you'll see. Uh, Yahuwah will be giving us not only uh, the definition of set-apartness, but how to be set-apart. What does it mean? What does it entail? So we're going to get into all of that. Uh, what should we be set-apart from? But today we're going to kind of use a base scripture uh, to springboard us into this study uh, on set-apartness. We're going to look at, in the, in the book of Exodus, or Shemot chapter 3. Again, this is our base scripture and everything that we uh, teach on for the next several Shabbats and the next uh, several uh, sessions is going to be based off of this. Exodus chapter 3 or Shemot chapter 3. Uh, we're going to begin in verse 4. Now many of us already know that this is uh, the particular chapter in which, in which Moshe encounters Yahuwah for the first time in a face-to-face -face conversation. So in Exodus or Shemot chapter 3 verse 4 it says, And Yahuwah saw that he turned aside to see. And Elohim called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moshe, Moshe, and he said, Here I am. And he said, Do not come near here. Take your sandals off your feet for the place on which you are standing is set apart ground. Now I'm reading from the ISR, uh, another version, you would use the word H-O-L-Y, but here we're using set apart. In verse 6 he says, I am the Elohim of your father, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Yishak, and the Elohim of Yaakov. Now what we find here is that Yahuwah initially doesn't give his name to Moshe. But what he does, he is giving Moshe who he is by giving an identification. So the first thing about set apartness is identification. If you are set apart, you have to be set apart from something but also set apart to something. You cannot be set apart from and not be set apart to. So you're going to see this theme uh, all throughout the Tanakh, all throughout the Torah, all throughout uh, even the Brit Kadasha, that you are set apart from something and set apart to something. Now, when, you, when we get deeper into this, you're going to see that being set apart to something also has requirements. And hopefully and prayerfully, as we get deeper and deeper into this study, you'll begin to see what are those requirements. And you're going to define those requirements according to the Torah, according to the Tanakh, apart from religion, apart from falseness. And so here, Yahuwah identifies or brings an identification to who he is. Even before the name, he's given him an identification. Now, if you will, go to uh, Shemot, Exodus, chapter 3, verse 16, same chapter, the verse further down. Uh, it reads, Go and you shall gather the elders of Israel together and say to them, Yahuwah, Elohim of your fathers, 
the Elohim of Abraham, of Yishak, and Yaakov appear to me, saying, I have indeed visited you and seen what is done to you in Mizraim. Now the identification brings to revelation. You hear me? Identification leads to revelation. So now Yahuwah reveals himself by personal name. And when revelation comes, the person comes. When revelation comes, the who you are, who you are on the inside, your characteristics, your name, your traits come. And again, the more and more we get into this, again, we're going to see separated or set apart from versus set apart and separated rather unto. Now, let's look at another example. In Shemot, the same book, uh, chapter 20. Well, we're going to begin reading in verse 1. And Elohim spoke all these words, saying, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Mizraim, out of the house of slavery. You have no other mighty ones against my face. You do not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness or that which is in the heavens above or which is in the earth beneath or which is in the waters under the earth. You do not bow down to them nor serve them, for I, Yahuwah, your Elohim, am a jealous El, visiting the crookedness of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing kindness to thousands to those who love me and guard my commands. You do not bring the name of Yahuwah, your Elohim, to know. Another version, I believe it's the King James Version, used the word vain. For, uh, for Yahuwah does not leave the one unpunished who brings his name to know. Now what are we seeing here? What we seeing here, again, is a prophetic pattern of identification. And you're going to see this throughout all this study identification and revelation. There's understanding. There's understanding. So I just want to begin uh, this series by setting uh, uh, this base up so that as you tune in that each time we're going to get deeper and deeper into this about set apartness. Shalom, shalom, shalom. shalom.